Hola, hola Fayetteville, buenas tardes. Mi nombre es Claudia Zamora y aquí estoy con ustedes en este día tratando de inspirarlos, de informarles y pues mmm, con algunas propuestas diferentes. Hoy tenemos un invitado muy especial y muy diferente y le queremos dar la bienvenida a Luis Olivera, nuestro, nuestro juez. Ah, Gracias con, Luis con por estar gusto. aquí, mucho gusto. Encantada de tenerte aquí con nosotros. Thanks. So I'm going to say this in English because I have it in English and I want to talk about a little bit of your trajectory. And so um, Lou Oliveira is a U.S. Army combat veteran, presides over the county's first veterans treatment court, first elected Hispanic judge in North Carolina history, escuchen esto, muy importante, uh, recipient of the Order of the Long Leaf Pine for over 20 years of service in North Carolina, es un pionero en este lugar, uh, recipient of North Carolina Chief Justices of Supreme Court Commission on Professionalism Award for Meritorious and Extraordinary Service, recipient of Community Involvement Award by the Diamante Arts and Cultural Center, recipient of Campbell University Alumni Service Award. You have so many awards. Extraordinary. And yes. I love cheesecake. Is that not in there? <laughs> It doesn't cheesecake? say. No, I love cheesecake. <laughs> uh, lo más interesante es que eh, Lou Olivera tiene una pasión muy grande en ayudar a las personas. Y queremos, queremos compartir varias cosas, varios proyectos que él está haciendo, eh, pero queremos involucrar a toda la comunidad. So, one of the things that I would like you to tell us a little bit is how you started all this movement <laughs> in you. <laughs> well, um, uh, yeah, I'm originally from Long Island, New York, and... Um, uh, uh, you know, working as a young child and then go for different homes. I, I at one point decided that the military service was for me. Um, you know, it was a hard life in New York and <clears throat> I felt that that was my route. Uh, and so I joined the military uh, at 18 uh, and I, uh, I wasn't sure if college was for me as, as many young adults don't. And so I joined the military and uh, they uh, trained me in, a, in an area which I wasn't familiar. I'm like, we want you to be a counterintelligence agent. I was Well, what's counterintelligence? Well, they taught me, and so and I went and trained in that, and eventually I got stationed here at Fort Bragg as a young soldier in 1989. Uh, and so that's how I got here to Fayetteville, and I served in the military uh, four years on active duty, and then another um, four years in a special reserve unit. And I went to the Gulf War as a counterintelligence agent. And so, But after that, I, I got out, and I went to school, and That's kind of the beginning of the it. Beginning. So the beginning. Of it, the beginning. <laughs> of it. I went story. to I went to un, um, undergraduate school at Pembroke State back in the day. It was Pembroke State. Uh, it's now the UNC uh, UNC Pembroke. Yes. It's a beautiful campus. You should take a visit there. Yes. They've done some great things. Uh, and then I worked for a little bit, <clears throat> and uh, eventually I went to law school at Campbell University. I got out of Campbell. I prosecuted here in Cumberland County. I was a prosecutor here for several years, and then I got out and I went, was in private practice for some years. And then I, I ran for judge uh, eight years ago and I won election. Um, but during that time, my years here, I've, I've been on many boards and, um, and not to name all the boards, uh, rape crisis and other things, but I just felt that if you're part of the community and you want to better it, you should do yes. something. You know, whether it's picking up trash on the side of the streets or volunteering, you know, at a local community center. And so I've tried to been involved in different organizations, the veteran, VFW, uh, rape crisis, Uh, United Way, and so right. just, you know, things that I, I believe if you, you want to do something for your community, find, there's so many good charities out there. Just find one that you kind of like and donate a little bit of time, and, uh, and it betters us all, it does. Yes, and I guess the, the having that empathy, you know, towards people when you can really be in their shoes, I think that gives you a bigger perspective of in cases, right? Because well, you've been there, you know what it is. You well, I, you know, I, I believe this, but but for the grace of God, there go I, you know? And so and we all have our experiences, whether good yes. or bad. Um, and uh, in, in life, you know, I've gone through some bad experiences with families and, you know, I lost my mom at an early age and went for different homes. And so when you go into those experiences, you know, with families dealing with drugs and alcohol, um, as a young child, I, I always wondered, you know, why me? Uh, and, um, but now I think where I'm at in life, you know, what, what I do on a day-to-day -day basis in the court system, is I see those families that, that come through from broken homes or children in DSS court from broken homes or those struggling from drugs or alcohol. Uh, and even I do the Veterans Treatment Court here, the county's first Veterans Treatment Court, 
And can, you, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, um, Cumberland, mm -hmm. Cumberland County is the largest military community in the nation. Uh, and we have uh, many of the rapid de deployable forces here. We have the Special Forces, we have the 82nd, and the Core Support. So usually when something happens around the world, Fort Bragg, since it's a rapid deployable force, is the first to go. Just like currently, I think we have 3,000 soldiers and airmen, service members that have deployed mm -hmm. to the Middle East. Uh, and so um, the Veterans Court here um, is the first of its county. And uh, what we do is we target those individuals that come to the court system that are there because of PTSD from service related right. or drugs or Drama. alcohol mm -hmm. because of that. And, and because this, we have such a large combat forces here. And, and actually we have the largest um, military retiree uh, percentage population in the nation. Wow. So Fayetteville and Cumberland County is the largest military retirees in active duty across right. the nation. So when those individuals come into the court system because of drugs or alcohol or PTSD related issues um, reserve, as a result of their service connected um, service, and they come to the court system, we try to identify them and we put them in vets court. And vets court is an intensive court. Uh, we team up with the VA, so we have a VA representative there, we meet every two weeks. Uh, we have the prosecutor's office there, we have the public defender's office there, we have probation and parole, we have the county veteran services office there, uh, the VA has a representative there. Uh, we also have a uh, mentor corps, which is very unique. What we do is every individual that comes to veterans court is paired with a mentor, a volunteer mentor. Oh, and amazing. someone that's been there with them, them you know, and uh, we will pair uh, women mentors with women service members and male mentors with, with male service members. And so it's an intensive court, and we try and it's to prevention. It's, it's absolute prevention, prevention. And, and you know they say, you know it it saves the public money to rehabilitate, exactly. But also saves a person. It saves a person. You know it's the it's the the right thing yes. to do economically, but it's more important the right thing to do spiritually and personally. So that's kind of what we do there, and and it's it's yes. a great everyone there is their own time, and and it's uh, you know like I said, but for the grace of God, there you go I. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah. That's really good. So, what are the projects that you're working on? Because I know you are in campaign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I am. I am elected. I'm elected yes. every four years. Um, right. The last time I ran eight years ago, uh, I think we had the second highest tally of any elected official. So, wow. I, I, I appreciate the public's um, you know confidence in me. Uh, so, uh, I'm up for re-election now. I have a primary on Tuesday, March third. Uh, early voting starts uh, February 13th to February 29th yes. and then the primary. And so, you know, um, but I'm, I've been active in this community for 15, 20 years, yes. you know, so um, uh, you don't just see me out during campaign season. <laughs> um, and so and I've, I've been here and, and, and so, but, uh, you know, um, we were talking earlier about, you know, uh, I remember when Accento Latino, was a newspaper, a private newspaper, and, and, and me and several, you know, Luis Colasso and some other community members have been here forever, were on the board. So, you know, I, I've tried to kind of be in the community, you know, those things I, that I'm passionate about. You know, I'm passionate about veterans, I'm passionate about, you know, rehabilitation, you know, and, and uh, juvenile mentoring. You know, my, um, my daughter was born pre premature, and so, you know, Going through that experience, you know, um, and seeing your, your child in the, in the hospital mm. is very impactful. Yes. And so afterwards, I, I volunteered at the March of Dimes for premature babies. So, you know, you see something that impacts you, you know, and, and you can make, believe it or not, you can make a difference. A little bit of time, it, it doesn't take resources or anything, but it takes your time. And so I've tried to find those things that have impacted my life and give my time. Uh, to make a difference. So you have the reasons why. <laughs> we, all, we all have reasons. So we, we all have the reasons yes, why. I mean, exactly. no one has a perfect life and everyone has, has gone through their ups and downs. Yes. But, uh, you know, we try to, you know, to take those experiences and kind of maybe help someone else or help the large. You know, I think if you help one person, you know, when you can, you never know when you need the help yourself. Yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. Integration. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Y además, el hecho de que, de que él sea hispano también nos ayuda, nos da un soporte para aprender un poco más sobre las leyes. Eh, a veces los hispanos nos quedamos un poco retraídos, nos da un poco de miedo. Uh -huh. El tema del el sistema de la corte nos da miedo. 
y tener una persona que nos represente en nuestro idioma creo que es fundamental, es muy importante y realmente te doy las gracias, Lu, uh -huh. porque es muy bueno ese trabajo de poder eh, darle el soporte a la gente latina. Uh -huh. ¿no? Así que excelente. Un mensaje que quisieras transmitir a nuestra comunidad. Which is the message that you would like to give our community about the future um, or the possible future? I, you, you know, one thing, you know, I, I, like I said, there are a lot of passions I have. You know, of course, you know, veterans and, and of course, you know, rehabilitation and mentoring. You know, and but you like, you know, your program, it, 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 it provides a message not only for the Hispanic community, which we have been a part of, but it's interesting to see how that community, you know, um, and, and, and I'm sure people know, like we, the Hispanic community is not just from Mexico. We're from Mexico and Puerto Rico and the Republican and Argentina, South America, <laughs> right. Spain, yes. you know, and it's the largest minority community in the nation with a great amount of Pershing power. Yes. But besides all those things that we said, it's just a passionate, loving uh, community and it's good to see I was in court today and one of the attorneys were telling me about this new restaurant they went to and, it's, and he was telling me it's a Spanish restaurant uh, and they were telling me wow the food's really good I'm like yeah I grew up on that food I grew up on food so it's good to see arroz con pollo so you know it's it's good to see you know people experiencing our culture that we're used to growing up to yes. and so and, and and Fayetteville and Fort Bragg is a unique community mm -hmm. because the services here the armed services armed forces brings people from Europe uh, Asia South America and so it, it truly is when you talk about the melting pot of America Fayetteville and Cumberland County is because you have service everybody everybody so <laughs> You know, you can see all these different cultures, you know, uh, Greek and Hispanic and, and yes. you know, all these other cultures that you can go to. And so it, it does my heart proud to see the culture I grew up in, you yes. know, uh, emerging in our community. And, and, you know, people not just recognizing it, you know, but, but experiencing and enjoying something we had both enjoyed. So, you know, besides seeing that is making me proud and proud to see where I come from. It, but it seems it, it emerges and melds our community. And, and I like to see where our community has come from. We've, I've been here for 30-something years, and our community has blossomed. And, and it has blossomed because people try to make a difference. Make it better. And it's good to see uh, everyone making a difference. It's good to see people coming together, you know, and it's good to see people eating arroz con gandulas. <laughs> Seguro, y el cafecito sí, también. Sí, el cafecito y pan. El cafecito, cafecito está bueno, sí. Hay mucho, hay mucho material eh, humano en esta, en esta ciudad. Hay un material humano muy, 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 muy bonito, muy lindo. Y, um, y los líderes, el trabajo de los líderes es muy importante uh -huh. porque a veces la gente quiere ayudar, pero no sabe cómo. Entonces, ahí están los líderes que nos pueden ayudar y, y proporcionarnos una, una forma diferente de, de ser voluntarios en diferentes organizaciones. ¿no? Bueno, Luis, te deseamos lo mejor. We hope you all the very best. Um, and uh, thank you so much for coming over, um, helping our community, being always ready to volunteer, and uh, and leaving a legacy for our children too. You know, because they mm. need to learn from That's right. <laughs> from from us. So thank you so much. Y le queremos agradecer a todos ustedes, nuestros oyentes hispanos parlantes, por eh, escucharnos. Por favor, síganos en social media. Eh, verifiquen la página de Lu. Tú tienes tu página web, mm. eh, Lu. Judge Lou Oliveira, Judge Lou Oliveira at Facebook. At Facebook. Mm -hmm. Y pueden ver también eh, toda su trayectoria y en todos los proyectos que estuvo trabajando. Uy, es increíble, fascinante. Muchísimas gracias. Síganos. Hasta la próxima. Y eso es todo por hoy. Gracias. Gracias.